Dana White has told Conor McGregor straight regarding his UFC future. For many fans, Conor McGregor is their version of the UFC. Without the Irishman, they don't follow the promotion as seriously, but for others, McGregor was just a gateway into the company. UFC has no doubt grown exponentially over the past decade and even more so since McGregor's debut in the promotion almost five years ago. But now that he has reached a level of stardom many mixed martial artist fighters could only previously dream of, does he need the UFC anymore? Of course, he is only 29 years old and MMA is his bread and butter, but with the money he made from taking one boxing match with Floyd Mayweather, he doesn't need to ever fight again. Then you have to factor in the opportunities he undoubtedly has to return to boxing, Pauli Malignaghi and Manny Pacquiao await him, and the WWE. Both sports, especially the latter's WrestleMania payday, dwarfs anything McGregor could make with the UFC. So where does UFC President Dana White sit on McGregor's future? If Conor McGregor fights next year, that'll be awesome, UFC President Dana White said on Fox Sports 1's Undisputed. If Conor McGregor doesn't fight, the UFC is going to go on. I've been hearing this since 2003. What are you going to do when Chuck Liddell's gone? What are you going to do when George's Street Pierre leaves? You're in big trouble when Anderson Silva's gone, he said. And the list goes on and on. Of course, the UFC will go on without McGregor, but having lost Ronda Rousey in recent years and John Jones' continued drug issues, their biggest draws are no more. White has previously said about between McGregor, the UFC lightweight champion, and Tony Ferguson, the interim UFC lightweight champion had to happen, but now it looks as though Khabib Nurmagomedov has jumped to the head of the queue following his destruction of Edson Barboza at UFC 219. If McGregor fails to defend his lightweight title in search of another lucrative, glamour bout, UFC fans are going to start getting sick of the notorious one. Even if that means completing the trilogy with Nate Diaz.